If you're recording guitars, vocals, or any other sounds on your iPhone or iPad, you've probably dealt with hiss and rumble and other unwanted noises. So in this video, we're checking this out, a free cleaner plugin from Nembrini Audio. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live. Today, we're back here on the iPad looking at the Analog Rack Cleaner plugin here from Nembrini. And you can see here, it's a very simple, but what I'm hoping is effective plugin to use on our guitars, our vocals, and our other tracks. So without any further ado, let's jump in and take a look. Now to test things out, we're back here in GarageBand. This is a track that I used in a previous video where I showed you the noise gate. And in this one, we're gonna look at the cleaner. Here's what the track sounds like at the moment. So there's definitely some unwanted noise. There's some things in this track that we can probably tame. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take a look at some of these guitar tracks and even my vocal track and see exactly what the cleaner can do. Let's start with this lead guitar track. You can see over here, I've already used the Nembrini Audio Analog Rack Noise Gate and the Crunk V2, but I've turned the noise gate off because we wanna actually put this cleaner to full effect. So without the noise gate, it sounds like this. So with the noise gate back on, which we showed in the previous video, which will be linked in the description, it sounds like this. Much, much better, yeah? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna tap on the edit button and we're gonna add yet another plugin here. There's four of these free Nembrini audio plugins, by the way, and we'll be covering them all here, so make sure you're subscribed or you can head over to the App Store, just search Nembrini audio, you'll be able to find them all right now. We'll scroll on down here, and this time, we've gone too far, we're gonna tap on this one here, the NA Analog Rack Cleaner, and we can now jump in and take a look at this and see how we can clean up and affect this sound here in GarageBand. Now, if you saw the last video, you're probably thinking, what is the difference between a noise gate and a cleaner? Well, a noise gate is just gonna turn the volume down when we've got noise. A cleaner is actually going to change that sound. So we wanna use the cleaner where we wanna fix up the tone or make some sort of adjustment to the sound that we're hearing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump in here to the cleaner and we've got two dials here. We've got rumbling, which we can turn up to 10, doesn't quite go to 11, but it goes to 10. And we've got harsh, which we can turn up. The only other controls that are really of note here are our input and our output. So we can change the amount of input volume going in and how much volume is coming back out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off the noise gate so we've got the full effect of this lead guitar here. We're going to play it back. We'll come in here to the cleaner. Everything's completely down. Let's drive up the rumbling and just see what this sounds like first of all. <laughs> So you can hear there that it's changing the tone, but there's not really much rumble in this one. We'll play around with that with the bass in just a moment. But if we use the harshness knob here, let's see what this does. <laughs> You can see that that's turning down the treble. It's taking away some of those harsh frequencies, hence the name of the knob, and it's actually making it a lot, much more mellow sound, lot, lot less crunchy and less in your face. So again, we probably wouldn't go that extreme, but if we play with it again here and we play... <laughs> Around about there, you're getting a bit more of a muted tone. So to me, that would be a good use of this, just to dial that harshness knob up there a bit, just to remove some of that. And if we put the noise gate back on here, then we're gonna get the added benefit of going through a noise gate, going through the amp sim, and again, we've shown the crunk amp sim in a previous video, and then the cleaner. So let's play all of these together now. <laughs> So we've got a more mellow tone. It is not playing the background noise because of that noise gate. And we've got our amp sim on there. So if we bring all of this back together. <laughs> and 
And you might be thinking, yeah, you've kind of deadened the tone a bit too much there. So no problem. You can come back in here. You can adjust this. Maybe I've dialed that in too much. We'll take a look at that when we look at some other instruments, which we're doing right now. Let's now grab our rhythm guitar here. And again, you can see we've got the Crunk V2 amp sim on here. If we tap on edit, we can come in here and add in some more audio unit extensions. We're going to scroll on down. We're going to grab the cleaner here. And now let's take a look at some of the presets that we have here. So we've got a default up here, but if we tap on that, we've got factory presets. There's four of them. There is to cut rumble, hiss remover, mud cleaner, and remove harsh. Now we'll play around with some of those in a moment on the vocal as well. But for now, if we tap on cut rumble here and we hit play on this one, It's just added a little bit of a cut to the rumble just so that you can hear what this does. Once again, let's play back this rhythm guitar and I'll dial up that rumble knob. So what that really is doing is cutting out some of that bass sound. So the rumble is going to happen in the low end. So really what you've got here is a simple way of adjusting your bass and your treble. The harsh sounds are going to be in the treble. The rumbly sounds are going to be in your bass generally. But it's just a nice visual way of looking at this sort of thing. What else have we got here under factory presets? We've got a hiss remover. Well, there's not really much hiss in this one, so it's not going to do a lot. Let's just hit play. <laughs> Again, if we pump it up. Again, it's just removing some of that top end. It's just a quick and easy way to do that. Once again, we'll come in here to the mud cleaner. This is going to turn your rumble up a little bit more. This is going to help remove some of that lower to mid frequency that creates a lot of that sort of mud that you have in some of your guitar sounds. Let's hit play on this one. So you can hear that that's cutting through a bit more. If we take that off again, turn it up. So this is good if you're finding your guitars are competing too much with your bass and you want to make sure that they're sitting in the nice range a little bit higher in the frequency. Finally, in the factory presets, we have remove harsh, which is turning the harsh up here. And this is doing what we showed before. If we hit play, Dial it up some more. All the way up there, you're getting that very bassy sound because you're removing a lot of the top end. So yeah, it's a fairly simple plugin, but it's something that's pretty cool, especially if you just want a really quick way to dial something in here on your guitars. But I know you want to try these on some other instruments, so let's jump in and take a look at this on the bass guitar. Let's reach for our bass. We'll grab the bass here. We'll come to a point where the bass is playing a bit. We'll hit play just with this solo. There's our bass. So there is maybe a little bit too much rumble in the bottom end there. What we can do, we can tap on the edit button. We can hit the plus button. We're getting good at this now, aren't we? We can come down here. We can grab the NA analog rack cleaner and we can tap on it. By the way, at Nembrini Audio, they've got these free plugins. They're also paid plugins as well. There's a bunch of very cool plugins, reverbs, choruses, delays. We'll be covering a bunch of them here, so stay tuned. But yeah, definitely check out the full range. Just go to the App Store, search Nembrini or check the link down in the description. So let's have a look at this one again here now. So what do we want to do? We want to cut some of this rumble. So we'll play the bass guitar, we'll dial up this rumble and see what happens. So you can see you're getting a much more cut through there with your bass. A much more cut through? You know what I mean. So if you do want a little bit more of that low end, you can keep it down there. But again, there's our rumbly bass. Bring up that knob. And you're normally not going to turn it up to 10, especially on a bass, but it can help you out. Again, this is a great way to just iron out some of those frequencies that might be muddying up your mix. So there we go. There's one more thing that we have to check out. Surely we have to look at some vocals because I know you've been looking at that hiss removal and you know if you saw the last video that these vocals have a lot of hiss in them. So why don't we jump in and see if we can do anything about the hiss in these vocals with the hiss remover. 
Now, last time we looked at this, we did use the analog noise gate. We've turned that off here now because we want to put this one to the test. We're going to once again hit plus audio unit plugin, scroll on down, grab the cleaner. So let's jump in here to the cleaner. And what we'll do is we'll go to the factory presets. We'll use the hiss remover here. So it's gone up to 2.3 on that harsh meter. Now I need to find out where my lyrics start. Here they are down here. So we'll turn it off to start with. We'll come back in here. By the way, up in the top right here, you've got your power off and power back on, or you can flick this little switch down here to turn it off and on. So we'll leave it off. This is what it sounds like at the moment. We're gonna rock this place like it's never been rocked before. We're gonna rock. So that's, that's the actual vocal sound. If we come back to the start here, let's just listen to some of the hiss that we have. There's that hiss, right? And there's me breathing. So if we wanted to get rid of this, we can use the noise gate as we did in a previous video. Let's turn this one on though and hit play and dial up the harsh. You can hear that some of that hiss is going away. We'll come back again. Let's play it. We turn the harsh down. So what we've got here is not a noise removal plugin. There is the Bruce Free Noise Removal Tool, and I've got a video all about that, which I'll link in the description of this one as well, if you want a true noise removal plugin. But this is a cool makeshift way that if you've just got a little bit too much, that high-pitched hiss that's coming through that you can hear there, we can dial this up and remove some of that quite easily. So let's play again. Turn it up. We're gonna rock this place like it's never been rocked before. We're go We're and between the phrases there, you can hear that there's not as much there. Now, I've made some weird changes here, but I'm going to let you listen to this whole song to sort of sing us and play us out with because I've been teasing it in the last couple. We will return to look at some more plugins, but let's play this one through and see what changes we've made and if it makes any sense at all. Uh, yeah, so that was interesting. Uh, all the volumes are now up too loud because I've been adding plugins and doing a bunch of processing here. But the cool thing about these plugins, they are free. You can experiment with them. And here's the thing. I want you to experiment with these plugins and let me know how you go. What sort of tracks have you tried them on? Let me know down in the comments. Download these plugins for free. Throw them onto your iPhone or iPad. Check them out and then let me know how you go. There's two more videos about some other free cool plugins down there. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping up there and I'll see you next time.